Hey guys, welcome to VR Essentials. Today, very exciting video as we're going to be talking about the fact that Samsung's XR reality headset is going to have unfortunately a little delay in terms of its production and also its release. We're also going to look at the fact that, you know, why is this and what potentially it could have as an impact into the industry. So let's just dive into the actual article. Before that, there was an announcement of a Samsung's upcoming XR headset to be standard on device. So this is also one of the things that we do know about. However, we're not quite sure of the actual specs of the Samsung. Samsung have been into the space before, then they decided to kill, in fact, their entire VR library of producing VR content for, uh, for example, VR360 content, and also all the different stuff that they used to do before was actually killed off about three years ago. And also, well, they haven't been in VR for so many years, but they are looking to partner with various different big players, in fact, uh, to bring, you know, to try and rival with, um, with, 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 with Apple, who are gonna be releasing, of course, the Vision Pro. Not the first company to do so. Also, HP did the same thing, partnering with also Valve, who are one of the leading uh, manufacturers in VR and also software content distribution platforms with Steam VR, and they also have their own platform with the uh, Steam Deck, and they also have the Valve Index that they released a few years ago and looking to, of course, uh, release a new VR headset as well. So, you know, it's good for these manufacturers to play together, to collaborate together, to test out the waters, test the market, and of course, learn more about how to put VR headsets together. So eventually, of course, They'll most probably do it on their own, I would imagine. All right, so XR is an umbrella term covering virtual reality and augmented reality, although it's a mixed reality, to be honest with you. Um, and this is all we know about the actual device itself before we get into the actual news, uh, the most recent news. So they're looking to uh, upcoming extended reality XR headset will reportedly be a standalone VR device. Now, by the way, for those who are not familiar with the term, standalone basically means you do not need a PC to run the actual device uh, or the content inside of the device. So you can run it directly off the shelf. You just put the headset on your face, boom, you're done. You go into the apps, just like on a phone, you open an app and then boom, you're inside of your VR experience without the need to spend thousands of dollars additional on a PC. Now, there are pros and cons. The pro is the fact that, well, you don't need wires, you don't need a PC. It's very mobile. You can go anywhere and everywhere with it. The con, though, is that the graphics suffer a little bit. They're not so good. And also, there's limitation in content as you're relying purely on the distributor or the content provider that is in the headset versus thousands of other immersive um, applications that are available, of course, you know, on, on, on other content distribution channels that are available in PC. However, most of these headsets though do have a way or technology that enables you to either tether it with a wire to the PC so you can access this content or to do it wirelessly as well. So we expect most probably something to be the same as its industry norm with the Samsung XR headset. Uh, but we don't actually have a lot of details about the headset other than the battery measures 45 to 45 mm, uh, but the capacity, capacity is unknown, although it most probably be two to three hours. Uh, the Galaxy unpacked event at San Francisco on Wednesday. This was back, by the way, uh, in February, so February of this year. The company announced that it has partnered with Qualcomm and Google. So just to give you some, again, for those who are not familiar, Qualcomm are the main chipset manufacturer for all the XR, MR, so mixed reality, extended reality, and virtual reality as well as augmented reality um, VR devices that are available at the moment from various different manufacturers in the industry. So they also, Qualcomm also produce their own uh, hardware as demos, demonstrations to show potential customers what you know they could potentially do with it. So Qualcomm are, amazing company and so far i would say other than with apple and also meta they are collaborating with meta so meta can actually do their own proprietary chipset but qualcomm at the moment are the industry standard for most of all the various different manufacturers out there producing you know these kind of devices in terms of how to get them to run uh, we will transform the future of the mobile industry by building the xr ecosystem together with qualcomm and google so of course there have been a lot of reports of google taking a step back from this industry as they personally do not believe right now that it is the core domain for them to go into in order to generate revenue revenue 
Of course, they've tried before, they failed, but it's good to see that they've tried, it's good to see that they're pushing the boundaries, and no doubt Google will be definitely a part of this space uh, in 10 years or 15 years from now. You will hear from Google, you'll have tons of Google devices all over the place, for sure, uh, as they are one of the big leading you know, manufacturers also in the phone space. So this is a way for them to stay and have a foot or toe in the industry by partnering with Samsung, of course. XR is an umbrella term covering virtual reality, VR and augmented reality. It is not actually AR, to be honest with you, it's just content you can see in the real world, but you can't actually interact with that content. You can interact with the hardware by pressing something to activate something on the content. However, mixed reality is where you can actually interact with the content directly as if it's a real object that is there in the real world. So not not 100% you know, great definition here for uh, mixed reality or XR. XR is a mix of actually VR and MR. And if you disagree, leave a comment below. Love to have that debate with you. Okay, uh, but do go and uh, check out the proper definitions, um, you know, online. Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Amon, uh, Senior Vice President of Android Hiroshi Lukheimer at Google, appeared on stage alongside Ro to announce the news. The announcement did not include any specifications uh, of the products, which is under development or timeline for them. Okay, so basically that's all we know. Uh, however, if they're partnering with Google, then we can imagine, of course, that the chip will be run from a Google Android as their most, most of the chips inside of VR headsets today are basically a Google Android phone chip. It's pretty amazing what you can do with it, actually, considering the technology. So that's all we will probably know from Google. Now let's move forward uh, several months later to today. Um, so Samsung Galaxy, now all we know is that basically Samsung Galaxy did reportedly, uh, not too long ago, less than a month ago in fact, after the release of the Vision Pro, said that they reportedly wanted to revamp, you know, to compete with the Apple Vision Pro. So that's basically how the Vision Pro has completely smacked, you know, people in the industry in, in making people realize how advanced that headset is going to be. And, you know, the price is pretty justified because the cost of making a Vision Pro, by the way, is more expensive than buying one of these headsets today. I mean, just FYI, that's how expensive the Vision Pro is. So basically, that's why it's going to be priced so high. Uh, well, it's one of the reasons why it's going to be priced so high, of course. So Samsung, after the release of the Vision Pro, went, oh my God, guys, if we're going to compete with Apple, we better, you know, do something about it. Otherwise, we are dead in the water from the get-go. So they went back to the drawing board and here is some news about it. So Samsung tipped to revamp its headset display to keep up with the competition. Uh, it could be back on the drawing board for Samsung's mixed reality ambitions. A new rumor suggests Samsung is re-evaluating the specs for its upcoming Galaxy XR headset following the debut of the long-awaited Apple Vision Pro. Previously, Samsung was thought to be developing a display boasting a pixel density of 2000 ppi. Now, uh, the actual ppi for the Apple Vision Pro is 3400, which basically means it's much higher, almost twice as high, to be honest with you, almost twice as high. And the Samsung Galaxy display is about 3000 ppi. So they basically, you know, want to go back to the drawing board to redo it completely. Now, this was a rumor at the time, um, you know, because the new and upgraded displays are set to be produced starting this November. Oxreda added outfitting its headset with new display uh, would be a massive undertaking, excuse me. And if that's the case, we could be looking at a delayed launch. So this was a rumor. Now, the actual news is the fact that, yes, it is confirmed that Samsung's new extended reality headset that was expected to launch in February 2024 has been delayed by three to six months. And the Korean publication claims that Samsung had initially planned to begin its XR headset mass production at the beginning of next year. But the Korean conglomerate decided to review all the specs and design of the XR headset due to specifications of the Apple Vision Pro pushing its launch further back. So, but it'll be very interesting, interesting to see what's gonna happen. And also, of course, we're looking forward to the potential launch of the new Valve, uh, which is called Descartes at the moment, which will be a new VR headset. Pimax also came out with their own VR headset. We're also looking potentially at Somnium Space coming out with their own headset as well. And there's, you know, other people in the mix too, uh, including, you know, Pico, which will release the Pico 5, 
at some point, I don't know when, of course, uh, and also, of course, MetaQuest with the Quest 3 coming out as well. So very exciting times for VR in the next one year or two years for sure. So there you go, guys. Do hit the like, smash the like so that more people get to see this video and also you can help to boost the community in VR Essentials. Hit the notification bell for these time-sensitive videos, breaking news industry videos so you don't miss the next video as well. All right, until next time, guys, take it easy and have an amazing week. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.